Today's story is Water Soldiers. Whee! The water drops all shout as they slide down Caleb's throat and into his tummy. Splash! Gather around, water soldiers, said Simon, the leader. We're going to need to do some serious work for Caleb today. He's been drinking too many sugary drinks, so his body is feeling tired and unwell. Oh, that's terrible, said Olivia. We need to help him, quickly. Indeed, Olivia and Chloe, I'm sending you both straight to the blood. Things are getting a bit sticky in there. It needs water right away, so Caleb can pump oxygen around his body and feel ready to play. Got it, they both said together. Ben, I know this sounds tough, but you need to head to the bones. They need water to be able to grow and help Caleb fight germs. Lots of special things are made inside the bones, and without your help, Caleb could catch a cold any minute. I'm on it, sir, said Ben. Sam, I've got a very important job for you. It might sound messy, but Caleb really needs you to do this for him. I'd like you to stay in Caleb's gut and flush out all the waste in his body as we. Ew! The droplets all said at once. You can count on me, sir, said Sam. And what are you going to do? I've got the hardest job of all, Sam. I'm heading to the brain. Ooh, said the drops, all looking at each other. That's right. Like all people, Caleb has water around his brain so it doesn't crash into his skull when he runs around and plays. And right now, there's just not enough in there, said Simon grimly. Right, everyone, let's go. Hop, 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 hop. Olivia and Chloe squeezed through the wall of Caleb's tummy and found the bloodstream. Simon was right. This blood really needs some water. Look how thick it is, said Olivia. Caleb will feel so much better now we're here, said Chloe. Meanwhile, Ben was on his way to the bones. I think I'll start here, in Caleb's arm, he thought. Yep, it's far too dry in here. Caleb won't be able to fight off germs with bones like this. Up at the brain, Simon had a good look around. I think I'll be here for a while, he said. Caleb's brain needs a lot more water all around it. I'm so glad I got here in time. Back in the gut, Sam was busy flushing water through Caleb's body and making wee. This job isn't so bad, thought Sam. I've been slipping and sliding around all day. Gulp, gulp, splash. Oh no, Caleb just drank another sugary drink. Alert, alert, alert. Caleb's body alarm was going off. Chloe and Olivia are first to respond. Calling all water soldiers! Calling all water soldiers! They shouted. Ben, Sam and Simon rushed to the bloodstream. What's the emergency? panted Simon. Caleb drank another fizzy drink and his blood is full of sugar again. Help us flush it out, said Olivia. But we've got other important jobs to do, said Ben. Olivia's right, said Simon. We have to get rid of this sugar first or Caleb's whole body will feel sick. If only he would just stick to drinking water. The water soldiers worked hard, flushing the sugar out of Caleb's blood. This made Caleb feel thirsty, so he had a drink of water. The water soldiers quickly grabbed all the water drops they could find and kept on cleaning up Caleb's blood. Finally, they were finished, and they were all holding waste that needed to be thrown out. Sam, it's your time to shine, said Simon. Lead us to the bladder where the wee is kept. This way, fellas, said Sam. The water soldiers carried their waste through Caleb's body and into his bladder. 
Once Caleb feels us all inside here, he'll need to go to the toilet right away, and all this waste will be gone, he said. Sure enough, everyone started to feel the wee in Caleb's bladder draining away. Here we go, said Ben. Good job today, water soldiers, said Simon, as they all trickled out. they all said. The lesson we learnt today is that sugary drinks are bad for our bodies. It's very important to drink lots of water to keep our bodies healthy. We hope you enjoyed this Schooling Online production.